there's something happening at Chorley FM. We're evolving. You've spoken and we've listened. We're working to provide you with a radio station that stands out. We're putting Chorley back on the map. Keep listening for more details. 102.8 Chorley FM. Lone Star and Amazed on the world famous Jolly FM. And plays just for Steve. Some great music on the way from on Jolly FM. Come on, are you going to come and help me? We just need young people to come and help. Come on, we want to help. Come on, come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Bring your dad on. Come on, get your dad on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm going to say, a slight improvement on your previous studios. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can all say we're going up in the world, or down compared to your other studios. But it is great, I think it's fantastic. Community radio like Chorley, everybody involved in it makes a real difference in Chorley. Um, it's not just about name dropping, but I said to the Prime Minister yesterday when he asked me, he said, what are you doing tomorrow, Lindsay? I said, well, you'll not believe it. I said, I'm going to Chorley FM, we're opening a new studio. He said, does it exist? I said, yeah. does it? <laughs> he said, he actually didn't understand that Charlie FM. Yeah. So in 10 Downing Street yesterday, what we're talking about is Charlie FM. Yes. Yeah. And there's nothing better. Yeah. You're all great people. You make things happen. You make a real difference. Because when people want to know about what's happening in the town, tune in. Charlie FM's there for all of us. Can I say thanks for what you're doing? It's great. And it's great to see Charlie's hero as well. Good see you. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And just to say, he did you a letter, didn't he, Prime Minister, the other week? I got him to do an interview wishing Ricky Hatton all the best in his world title fight. <laughs> he said to me, just explain. <laughs> <laughs> so a bit of insight to the <laughs> Prime Minister. <laughs> 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 yes, it's making news coming live. Railway House Railway Road in Chile. Are you okay? One more. Do you know Oh, that is just oh. awful. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Left hook was the main weapon that Cotto yeah. used to get against you. Did you see anything that in your, your preparation for the fight, or was there anything there to counteract that? I mean, we was working on defence for that, but what he does is like he was just shooting head punches. I was blocking to the head, but because I blocked to the head, I left my body a bit open, and he dropped straight down and. Just can't be left Duke, and to be honest with you, it was, it was perfect. Whatever yeah. he did it. it was he's, a, he's a quick puncher as well with things like that. I mean, you know, for as much as you would have worked on that defence, he would have worked on that. Counter yeah, of course. Thought, I mean, you know, I'm gonna move down there quick. And he would have looked. So obviously, I was looking at his um, negative actions, what he does in the ring, and obviously, when it, when we were studying my tapes, he'd have been doing the same with me. So. Um, if he saw that beforehand and he's worked on it, then it'd come off well for him. <laughs>